Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and uh, welcome to this Database Lessons video series. And uh, we will continue to talk about uh, System Global Area Database Buffer Cache. Okay, uh, there is a prerequisite for this video. If you look at the, the video playlist, um, you might see a couple of uh, videos ago. This series starts with the SGA part 1, part 2, something like that. Uh, you might want to start from there. If not, the entire series. Okay. Thanks. And let me start. So, the next part, let me start with a small story. Uh, I wouldn't call it as a story, just an analogy. Uh, but, anyway. Okay, so let's just say I uh, run a what do I call this? I run a fruit warehouse. Have you heard about it? Okay, I run a fruit warehouse. Okay, and I my boss asks me, Hey Sam. Can you give me a report of how many fruits do we have? Okay. So, what I can do is I can just, you know, walk one by one. Let's say I enter through this way. Okay. So, I can walk here, go to this chamber, and count how many fruits I have, how many fruits I have, how many fruits I have, and then come back and give a report uh, to my boss saying that, you know, uh, these many bananas I have, these many uh, pineapples and uh, apples, uh, uh, oranges we have. Okay. But there is a problem. I mean, I also have workers inside my warehouse and they would be constantly you know uh, 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 loading or removing fruits okay so I have uh, let's say worker here I have a worker here a worker here and what they do is uh, according to the need uh, uh, they just you know uh, add banana right uh, or add pineapple okay they just keep on adding bananas or add pineapple so the problem is the data I'm sorry I mean the the, the number of fruits uh, they get changed and they constantly they are getting changed okay so when I give a report to my boss I should be in a position to tell my boss that at a particular time this is the amount of uh, this is the stock uh, exact amount of fruits that we had at a particular time okay so I need to attach a time Okay, so what we do is, you know, let's say at 10 o'clock a.m., you know, I need to take a report. So what I tell my workers is, if you modify any of these fruits in any of these chambers, just note down the old values in a uh, piece of paper and stick it on the wall okay for example if they add a banana right before adding a banana they would mark like there was a pineapple one pineapple plus one mango okay the old value will be there and then they will add banana or if they remove banana they'll say there was already a banana okay so the I 
instruct them if you change you just put the old value somewhere okay got it so in this way I am covered so at 10 o'clock when I start walking in I can note down okay there is one banana okay and then I can come here by the time the time is 10 or 1 two bananas plus one pineapple and then I walk 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 I come here by the time is 10 o 5 okay two bananas two pineapples one mango okay so now while I'm reading this okay my worker here removes a banana from here okay so okay but notes that there has already been a banana okay at the same time another worker okay adds a pineapple here but leaves me a note saying that minus one in pineapple right some note okay so when I come here okay up to here I'm fine I'm just reading this data because there isn't anything marked as old value here okay I come here that's fine but when I come here right there is some note for me it says one pineapple one mango and one banana right so this one banana I take into account because this was removed after I started counting Get it? So I count this banana and then I come here, nothing is in there. So I uh, read this value, but then I come here and it marks as one minus one pineapple. Okay, there. So I count it and then I remove minus one pineapple. Basically, I read the old value, right? Uh, I'm sorry, it won't be minus one, it will be like now one banana, one orange. Uh, I'm sorry two bananas one orange that's it it will not say uh, pineapple okay so like that I read I read and then I produce a report and tell my boss at 10 o'clock a.m. our warehouse looked like this okay numbers and everything got it so what I did was I in some chambers when I read the value I read as it is in some chambers when I went I did not read what was there instead I read it from somewhere okay so just remember let me go to the next slide <clears throat> okay so we talked about when it comes to database buffer cache database buffer cache there are certain attributes one is called uh, status right we talked about the status of the blocks and then we talked about how these blocks will be accessed right in either pinned mode or free pinned mode okay and there is also one more section in in terms of access which Oracle calls it as buffer mode but for simplicity or for understanding sake you know I would call this as buffer retrieval mode 
because it was very difficult for me to understand when it was just buffer mode okay but oracle still calls it as buffer mode and uh, you know uh, let me call it as buffer retrieval mode okay the reason i am calling it as that is when a buffer is accessed you know it can pin it or unpin it that's fine but it can access when I mean, retrieve the data from the buffer in two modes one is as it is whatever is there whether it's dirty or clean right no issues it just reads whatever it is there that is called current mode okay so whatever is there if it reads it and gives it to the client who wants it right client session when i mention client client session it's called current mode okay now let's just say a session wants a session started running at 10 o'clock am okay and that would need this block this block this block this 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 okay but at 10 of 5 you know these blocks were modified okay so when the session after reading this block and reading this block it's free anyway when it comes here it's 10.06 okay so it's 10.06 but this block has some new data which was modified at 10.05 right but remember the, 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 the previous story I told I need to give a report as what it was at 10 o'clock right I cannot include what it is at 10.05 okay so what I do is I go and read the old data okay from where I read the old data the old data comes from Oracle undo okay I'll explain this undo later but just think of that as these guys right these notice right I told so that's where the old data is stored by whoever modified it okay I'm sorry not by whoever modified it in Oracle Oracle process stores it okay so when it comes to read this right it cannot read this one okay instead it has to go to the undo segment and read data from there okay so the data that comes from undo let's say undo is here somewhere that goes into a free block got it so whatever it reads it goes there okay it's written there okay it's written there so now instead of reading from here it goes and reads this okay so what happened here it had to get the data for consistent mode because it needed consistency and the data in there is not consistent with what session wanted so it has to go and read the data in consistent mode which means that getting the data from undo and then creating a block which is copy of this block but this is only a consistent mode block got it so whenever a read happens in current mode that would be much faster than consistent mode okay thank you for watching